We're chatting with Brian. How are you doing, Brian? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm Good. excited to chat with you because Good. you are the competition guy, right? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> so explain to me kind of what you do with the competition teams here. So once the kids have gone through rec and we might see some that they just have way too much energy and, <laughs> and ability to control their bodies. So right. we let them come over to pre-team and from there, if they look good, they can go into teams. Sometimes they go straight to team. Okay. From there, we teach them what each level of USA Gymnastics requires for certain levels okay. of team competition. And we go from there, from little baby five-year-olds where we do baby shark routines, Aww. all the way to level 10 where we're doing double backs and tuck and layout position and twisting and all that stuff. My goodness, that's yep. awesome. I love that you can grow here. You know, you yes. start as a baby and you can just grow up through a competition level. I think that's really cool. Yes. So you guys have the Myrtle Beach Cup. Tell me about this. Ah, yes, Myrtle Beach Cup. It is a competition that we do with Sports and Beyond. They are out of Virginia. Okay. We work together on putting together an early meet for especially the higher level gymnast in December. That's normally not the time where we normally really start our season, okay. but it's a nice little warm up where they get really good competition. About a thousand gymnasts have averaged coming in to our wow. meet. And how long have you been here? I have been here since 2008, so that would be 13 wow, years. Wow, that's great. And that's, a, that's a basically 100 years in no, gymnastics coach I mean, time. But I feel like that says a lot because you've been here 13 years. Shannon's been here, what, 30 years? Yes. I couldn't imagine myself going to any other gym. The, Chris, the boss, does all these amazing things that allow me to grow. I do choreography, which I've always wanted to do because he gave me room to do it. Yeah. Now, I travel to different states, and I have people calling me up to do routines for them. I still have people calling me wow. up in October to do routines. That's great. And I just couldn't imagine any other way. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's great. And it, it translates, I feel like, into the students, you know, because yes. Shannon was saying everybody here is like one big family. And I yes. feel like the families that come here feel the same way. So yes. great job for what you guys are doing. Well, thank you. All right. So you are going to try and show me some stuff. Yes. Don't know how I'm gonna do it. Say a little prayer. Oh, we got we got this. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, well let's go try some stuff out. All right, let's do it. I haven't done a somersault since I was like, I don't know how long. Since it was called somersault. Since it was <laughs> <laughs> I told on myself, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna have you stand up here for this one. Woo! There okay. you go. <laughs> so this time you're gonna tuck your head in, do all the shapes, arms up, shoulders, tall feet together. And okay. you're going to keep pulling your head in until you can feel your shoulders go down. Okay. Ready? And you bend your arms a little bend bit. Arms. Tuck your head way in. Now bend your arms more. Bottom up in the air. There you oh go. gosh, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. I've got you. Bend your arms. There you go. And then push through your toes. Better. Now Woo! we roll faster. Good. Good job. <laughs> this thing right here is a big old roadblock. It'll right. make you bump and go a little slower. So. Man, Good that's job. crazy. Awesome. So new, so technical. All right. Wait, so, can I have a demonstration, Brian? Can you sure. show me this? I can demonstrate. Okay. I can demonstrate this. Okay. All right. So I'm here. I keep my elbows in. If my elbows go out, my chest goes out, and then I don't have my round back anymore. Okay. So I want elbows in, so I have my round back. I go back, push, stand. You make it look so easy. Not okay. bad for 44, huh? <laughs> it's about to be bad for 34, so. <laughs> no, you All got right. this. I'm, okay, I'm a little nervous. This is gonna be real you take awkward. take a deep breath, good. You're gonna lean forward, that'll help your back start to round. And like I tell my gymnast, you commit, you're in. What if I don't go all the way over? Oh, you will. You're gonna pull your knees over as fast as you can. Ready? <gasps> you got Charles. this. You got All this. Right. Elbows stay in. Stay Remember in. that. Elbows stay in. You'll go over every time. One, two, three. Knees over. Push. Woo! There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time out of your day. No problem. To, to deal with me. Oh, <laughs> to no. To break I, it down with like, me. I actually like doing this. I, yeah. I, I get to tell everybody about the sport I love. Yeah. So that's not a, not a problem. Well, that's great. Put a shiny spotlight. I love it. Love it, love it. And of course, you guys can visit the information on your screen if you'd like to learn more. Thanks so much for watching Living Local today. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Today's story is sponsored by Beach Team Gymnastics.